Hey, Jonathan here. If you don't do these things in your e-commerce business, I think it's very, very difficult uh, for you to succeed. So I'd like to show you how uh, this past month, um, we did work for one of our clients, uh, their most most profitable, like highest revenue month uh, so far. And they hit $100,000 uh, just crossing over the 100K mark, as you can see here, okay, uh, on their store as well. Okay, if you can see also, uh, let me just refresh the page. Let me just um, right click and then reload so that uh, you can see that everything is live and stuff. Okay, and this is an extremely profitable way of uh, running advertising as well, but it's also not conventional. Also, keep in mind, it's like uh, you may not get the same results as me, and that is okay, right? Because like um, there's systems, there's formats, there's everything. However, it's like um, this type of product is not uh, suitable for every style, type of traffic source, right? So this type of uh, advertising method that I'm using right here is predominantly starting from, uh, what's it called? It's starting from Google and then basically slowly transition and retargeting on Facebook. That's why it's very, very profitable because we're using search terms and search traffic first and then uh, showing that people who are already searching it will and can buy and are willing to buy and then we retarget them on Facebook and Instagram. So it's extremely profitable, okay? So however, I think if you stick to the end of the video, uh, you definitely learn quite a few things as well and also uh, find out how powerful uh, Google is at the same time if you're targeting the right amount of traffic, okay? So let me just show you and get right into it, okay? So if you can see here, uh, this is June. In June, right, I start off, for example, like um, just doing 86K, okay? And then we are slowly ramping up. And so uh, in July, in July, we just had our best month so far, around 100K. And then uh, now it's August, but it's, August is not finished, but we're on track to do around 110, 115K uh, this month as well. So it's like slowly increasing and gradually increasing at the same time, but nothing like explosive growth, right? And that's not what you want. What you want is steady growth all the time and profitable growth, right? Growth that you can reinvest into your business as well, okay? So um, I can show you the stats as well. So um, you might be thinking I'm joking or whatever, but it's not, it's not true, okay? So I can show you it's like 61 times ROAS, on a 100K store, okay? I'll give you um, everything where, um, show you the exact, uh, for example, the type of products, the, the price point, uh, and what to do when you're bidding for your keywords on your campaigns on Google Ads as well, okay? So you can see here, um, this is the ad spend. So a thousand, over a thousand dollars, and then on Facebook, uh, sorry, on Google, and then on Facebook, it's very, very small amount as well. So let me show you the ad account uh, for Google Ads, right? You can see here, uh, Google Ads, this is July 1st uh, to 31st, uh, 2020, right? So July 1st, um, 31st and now just press apply okay so you can see here under all campaigns um, we spent over just over cross over a thousand dollars right just over across a thousand dollars right um and also because google ads attribution is not very good you can see here it's like uh, it shows only forty six thousand, but in matter of fact it's much more than that okay so this is google we are running uh google search and google shopping as well and then if you can see over here this is facebook as well uh let me just refresh here for you so you can see here july 1st to 31st uh, we are just running retargeting on the back end, very, very small retargeting. And you can see here, right, um, in terms of conversion value, um, it's very, very profitable as well. Okay, so um, these are the, the few things that we're doing just to show you the traffic source uh, and just to allow you to understand what is happening uh, on the back end as well. Okay, so let me just go into my presentation to show you. Okay, so um, this type of uh, product, right, is um, demand search based. Okay, so people are really searching for the product and all we're doing is putting that message in front of them and not necessarily doing interruption marketing uh, such as Facebook. Okay, so in terms of traffic sources, right, as you can see here, on cold traffic, we're doing Google search and Google shopping predominantly. And then on retargeting, we're just doing Facebook and Instagram. It's literally only running two two things uh, at one time. Okay, not only that, Google is uh, much more stable than Facebook. So um, generally, if you can scale that ad spend, uh, the ROAS generally holds quite well as well. So that's why you are seeing uh, the insane numbers right here. Okay, so um, this is that's why I said it's suitable only if your product has demand. So how do you check? That your product actually has demand okay you can go to do two different things okay you can go to google trends and you can go to keyword helper okay so let me show you for example uh, you go to googletrends.com and then what you want to do is search for example uh, the, the case i'm showing you is right here for example it's like denim jacket okay so for example you search denim jacket and then uh google search will basically uh, sorry google trends will basically show you the data uh behind uh the denim jacket okay so you want to see that over uh, the past five years over the past 12 months right the search volume is not necessarily increasing exponentially it's such that it's consistent right so that you understand that hey there are certain seasons that are selling and certain seasons that are not 
right? If not, if it's consistent, if it's evergreen as well, that's very, very good, right? Because it shows you that there's consistent demand. People are constantly uh, searching for it as well, right? So you can see there are, there are certain ups and downs, definitely, but uh, more often than not, a uh, denim jacket is quite consistent at the same time, okay? The second thing that you can do uh, to track demand is actually going to your keyword helper. So if you're in your actually ads manager, which is basically your Google ads manager, okay, sorry, go back, okay? You can go into tools, and then on the left-hand side here, you can, you can press planning, and then you go to keyword planner. Okay, press keyword planner, and you'll be directed to this uh, this um, window right here, where you actually can find out and discover new keywords. Okay, so, and then you press discover new keywords. So you can just put in a few things that uh, are suitable. So I'll just put in a denim jacket again. Okay, and I'll get results. And then basically Google will take denim jacket and then find a similar, similar uh, keywords to this to this product as well. So you can see here in the US alone, yeah, in the US alone, right, over the last 12 months, there's been 90,000 searches of denim jacket and other things related to it as well, right? So you know that for a fact that this is a very strong keyword and there's uh, multiple people searching it for the same time, right? Another thing you wanna look out for is the top of the page bid, uh, the high range, right? So you wanna see that people are actually bidding for this keyword and such that it shows that there's commercial intent, right? If people are bidding for this keyword, it means it's a profitable keyword. Uh, there are actually people buying this product in the first place. So th that's that, those are the two things you wanna see. You wanna see uh, the average monthly searches as well. You wanna see uh, the top of the page bid, the high range, okay? So you can see a uh, dollar, two dollars cost per click, for example, right? So these are uh, indications to me that there are people in the market, there are other people selling and making money at the same time, okay? So those are the two things you wanna do at first, okay? Afterwards, you can see here, you identify your niche or keywords and then you drill down to the certain types of keywords that you want to use in your campaigns as well, okay? So, uh, yeah, so for example, you take a few of these that are like, um, have a lot of monthly searches and then sort of the top of the page a bit is uh, quite, uh, what's it called? Um, within the range that you're, you're, you're looking for as well as the, the keywords that are very, very relevant to your product itself, okay? Then afterwards, uh, you put them in and then you put them in the Excel sheet or whatever, Google sheet, and so that you are tracking all of them, okay? Um, if this product for right here, it's around $100 to $300 price point. So that's why, uh, keep in mind, it's not, uh, this strategy may not be suitable for everybody, okay? However, it's like, uh, you have this style price point, you also need to be using a highly optimized landing page. And if you're in a coaching program, uh, you will definitely have access to this as well, okay? So in terms of uh, the conversion and bid strategy, right, for the campaigns, what do you actually uh, put into your campaigns, okay? So um, we always start out with maximize clicks first, okay? Once you get conversion, then you change it to the maximize conversions. And then afterwards, uh, once it's consistent, you do target CP, okay? So how do you actually set up uh, your actual campaigns from, from this, from the get-go, okay? So if you're in your Google Ads account, you can go in here, campaigns, and then you press this big blue button right here. And then this will open up to uh, create a new campaign. So you press create new campaign, okay? Afterwards, you want to select uh, the campaign objective immediately. And what I want is sales. I couldn't care about, I couldn't care about anything else. I want sales, right? So I select sales and I press search, okay? So that's the, the campaign type that you want to select. And then you can go ahead and press continue as well. Okay, uh, you search website visits. Okay, and obviously you just enter in your website, uh, your business website, I'll just put google.com first, and then you press continue. Okay, so in here, after you come out to the load to the second portion, right? Then obviously you just change your campaign name to whatever you want it is. Uh, usually I also will put um, the date of your actual campaign. So for example, today is the 17th, uh, to the 17th, and then something like that. And then I'll put like denim jacket uh, sales search, right? Okay, under search network, right? You want to remove include Google search partners because generally this inventory is quite junk. You want to remove it from there. Uh, include Google display network. I also remove this at the same time, okay? You can press show more settings here. And then you can see the start date and stuff like that. But these are quite unnecessary. I generally don't touch it, okay? Under locations, uh, in this case, I'm only uh, targeting the US. So uh, only US. Languages, I'll put English. And then for audiences, you can see here. Okay, just let it load for a while. Okay, audiences is generally uh, what I wouldn't touch in the first place. Because um, in the ad group level, set, uh, generally you will already select the type of keywords that you want to target, okay? So for audiences, generally I won't even touch it. Okay, under budget and bidding, you want to be putting at least $50 per day first, especially when you are doing uh, maximized clicks at the first part. So maximize clicks, you can see here, you want to put at least $50 per day and you can run more than seven days first. Okay, so um, so this is the bid strategy that you want to choose, right? So uh, you can see here, this is where you actually choose. 
choose what, what you're actually uh, focusing on. So, right. So at first you want to do maximize clicks. Okay. And that is all set a maximum cost per click bit limit. You can do anywhere from 75 cents all the way to a dollar at first. Okay. And then this is basically if you are, have never ran campaigns in your life, you have never ran campaigns for your e-commerce store at all. Okay. In the future, um, if you already have, have past data that you want to use that past data and see the cost per click bid amount. But in this case, uh, cause for example, a fresh account, you don't, don't need to actually put in any, uh, bid limit. I'll just generally put 75 cents to a dollar as well. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Okay, so that's generally what I want to show you about the bidding strategy. Okay. Once you get about, uh, you should be able to see some conversions and you run for uh, more than seven days at $50 per day. Okay. Afterwards, you want to transition to uh, maximize conversions. So maximize conversions is literally uh, just now what you saw. So you can see here, uh, maximize conversions. And then you can, uh, you don't, first, you don't put a, a, a target cost per action. Okay. Cause, um, Google generally doesn't have a target cost per action yet. Okay. And then afterwards, you, when you want, once you got about a hundred conversions or so, right? Your pixel, uh, is very, very, uh, familiar with what our customer, uh, that they are targeting and getting consistent sales, right? Then you want to transition over to your target CPA. Okay. And then in this case, because Google AI knows, um, Google will suggest to you your target CPA, right? So that's why just now you saw, right? Uh, set a target cost per action, a target CPA, right? Generally, um, if there's enough data in the account, right? Then Google will actually suggest to you this amount, for example, $5, $12, right? So you can see here, this is not a fresh account. This is actually a quite a good account already, right? There's a lot of data on this. So you can see here, your recommended target CPA is $12.94, okay? If it was a fresh account, right? Generally, they won't have a lot of data on this. So you generally don't want to put this, but this is not a fresh account, okay? So this is, I'll just put $12.94 according to what Google suggests, right? And then you'll run the campaign, okay? So that is target CPA, um, yeah, okay? So um, generally how it goes from here is once you reach target CPA, uh, your Google campaigns are stable, right? Then you want to scale into code, into Facebook after that, right? So you've got Google stable, you've got Google's uh, campaigns, search campaigns um, scaling, and then you also layer onto that shopping campaigns, and then you scale into using the Google, uh, the very, very targeted traffic from Google, the pixel data, right? You scale into cold traffic as well, right? So can you see how powerful it is because you're using search traffic data to create lookalikes for Facebook? Something that like a lot of people don't use, uh, just because um they are very very used to Facebook. They think Facebook Facebook is everything, but there are multiple traffic sources as well that you can use, and you can diversify that traffic source as well. Okay, so hopefully this um very very short tutorial slash video, whatever you want to call it, is useful for you. But like outrageous numbers like this is not is not out of reach, right? It really depends on your niche as well. Like not every single product is suitable to run Google traffic on coal as well. Okay. It also takes a bit longer because Google's conversion window is much longer. It's around seven days or so. It's not like Facebook's three to four full days. Okay. So yep, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you gained some value and like you can actually implement some of this, uh, for yourself. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, please put them down, uh, in the comment section below and I'll definitely answer them as well. Okay. Thanks so much.